So this is my run, my jumpers biathlon run with Nico at the Midwest Cup. And I had a lot on the line here. I had been eliminated in standard um, agility. So I, I knew that though, if we could at least not E <laughs> um, in this round, we had a chance at uh, winning the overall cup for her height. So my goal, uh, my modest goal was to not E. <laughs> um, so, oops. Um, so this beginning, um, let me pull up a line here. This beginning part was a little tricky. It was a, you know, this big 180 here to the tunnel. And um, I, there's so much distance there that I wasn't sure how I wanted to handle it to be in position. I don't tend to like to rear cross my dogs. It slows them down. But I also felt like I had to support this wall jump here um, and also not get this off course back there. Um, so I ended up handling it pretty tight in doing a rear cross. Um, so make sure got to get this going the right way. So I sent her here. I came pretty close to support the wall jump and then started to move over. She did actually a pretty nice turn with me on here, but there was no chance. I think if I had tried a little harder, I might've been able to get that blind cross in, but I wasn't sure. So we just went with a rear cross, which didn't put her on a great line. You can see she kind of had to co correct um, in order to get into that correct tunnel entry, but girl, girl she did it. Um, this was the scariest part of the whole run right here. She came out, interestingly here she comes out, turns towards me, but I think that's because she's already kind of on a turning lead coming through here. So I was able to direct her into that straight tunnel. And then this happened. I I don't know what I was cueing. I can't say for sure, but clearly whatever it was, it wasn't what she needed because look at her power out straight to that jump out there, that off course jump. And uh, this is when it's good to know what word your dog actually listens to when you want them to stop. Um, I think my tendency is to say my dog's name, um, but they won't listen. If I say, if I had said Nico, she would have taken the jump and then come back to me. Uh, so in those moments, uh, my word here works really well. So I'm right there screaming here and look at her stop and be like, not the jump. <laughs> Such a good girly. That was just a last minute save. Because if she had taken that jump, that would have been a wrong course. It is an elimination. Um, and that would have been that. But she stayed in the game. Came around here. This was nice. This all went well. She has great weeds. So she was going in here. Um... This is the part where we went, this was a difficult part. So I think I um, overhandled this. I was a little nervous. I mean, it's hard to see. This is kind of flat. You can't really see the angle. But I felt like I had to be up there to some degree to make sure she knew because you can see the strides as she's leaving. She's really on the lead to take the front side of that jump. And so I felt like I had to be there to make sure she did know to take the back side and then I had to do a front cross here, and that was the bar knocker. Um, I have learned, unfortunately, in the worst possible moments, like nationals and, and other situations, that Nico does not really like me front crossing in front of jumps like that. And so um, she just, it makes her collect too much, and she just didn't get enough height, um, and she knocked the bar, um, maybe with her tail, who knows. Um, luckily, a bar knock is uh, points, but not um, no but not an elimination, so um, we were still in the game. So she did this really nicely, came around, took the tunnel. Interestingly, this time out of the tunnel, I did the right thing because she turned a little bit quicker. So she didn't try to go for that tunnel out there, which was an off-course tunnel that definitely dogs took. I think she saw this red red jump out here. Um, move back out again. She saw this red jump, but... Um, still came with me around here. This was a little scary here. I came in, I really had to get, so the path is this. So I really wanted to make sure that I was on this side of the tunnel because, oops, on this side of the tunnel. Because if I was still on this side of the tunnel, there was no way on earth. I, I know some people did try to do like a, a rear cross out of here or like run in front and get through there. Um, that was not an option with Nico. So um, 
So I came along, did a quick blind uh, front cross here, no bar, so we're fine. Um, got in there, and then here she was really good, and you know she came out enough so that that her momentum just carried her to the correct side of this jump, which was great. And um, and luckily here I kind of was still doing a front cross, but I was far enough out of her way and moving that it did not bother her, and she did that full. 360 around the jump, ran in there, picked her up, and look at her go. So that was a really fun run. Um, let me go to the end here, and you can see, I'll just play the whole run for you so you can kind of see it in full motion. Let's see here, where's my play? There we go. I think I could have gotten a blind in there, but... There's my here. <laughs> she likes to scream in the weaves. I was saying my right cues. I was saying my verbal cues. That was good. <laughs> nice. Good girl. So yeah, from this really, I think the biggest thing I need to work on is my, with Nico, is, is those tunnel exits. You know, she's 10 years old. There's some things that are just not going to change for her. So, you know, front crosses after jumps, we're just going to avoid doing front crosses after jumps. But I think I can do more to work on those kind of tunnel exits. So this wasn't the only run that weekend where tunnel exits were a problem. So something um, to put on my list.